here with Kizito, <laughs> and we've got a dog here with us whose name is Bull, right? Yeah, Bull. Hey, Bull. <laughs> He's not listening to me. <laughs> All right, so tell us about this dog. Yeah, uh, Bo is a boa bo, right? A uh, female boa bo. Yeah, she's more than three years old. Mm -hmm. um, so just about three years old, yes. less than four. Less than four. Wow. Yes. So is she still growing, or uh, this is it? Because she's quite the, big when you look at look the, at this, her this size. This is her right? size. Mm -hmm. This is her size, and then she eats moderately. Okay. Yes, she eats moderately. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us about um, how you take care of this kind of dog, especially a dog of this size, and how you manage uh, the whole process on a day-to-day -day basis. Only, only a dog like this it requires a, a, a pet owner that is also energetic, right? And then a large space because large this, space, uh, large yeah. space is important. For yeah, the dog this dog needs a lot of exercise. Mm. Uh, when you have a fence compound and you walk your dog every time. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, uh, so let's, let's move the dog over here. Come here, Bo. How you doing, man? Yeah, she's a friendly one. Oh, so, friendly dog. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 the feeding, judging from the size of the stomach. Yeah. You, you know, and then some people do once a day. Right. And the dog loves it when you do twice a day. Of yes, course, obviously, yeah, I mean, because yes. dogs are always, are uh, always uh, ready for food, uh, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So keep to your schedule with your vets. So you need a big compound for a dog like this. You don't want no, dog to be too it, confined. Even though you don't have a big compound, you exercise your dog. The dog is an energetic, it's a muscular dog. Yeah. And it's energetic. So it requires an energetic person to even take So take the dog out on walks. Yes, and take the dog out on walk mm -hmm. and stuff. But as time goes on, when a dog understands walk, walking yeah. will be very, very easy. Mm -hmm. But she won't be dragging. Yeah. Right, right. Yes. Because I see that a lot sometimes. Uh, yes, in my yes. You know, where when, whenever you see somebody, a dog dragging a, a pet owner, yeah. a dog, the dog owner, yeah. it shows that the dog owns him. Right. And yes. so, the, the, maybe it's not they the owner. Don't it's not that other, day, <laughs> other, other way around. Yeah. So, so I, I saw you. I saw you um, giving some commands to the dog earlier on. Could you could you do yeah. that again? Let's see. Uh, yes. You ask the dog to sit at some point. Yeah, this, this is it. Uh, the dog wants to be touched. Right. Uh, you can either use food. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't want to be touched, you don't touch the dog when the dog don't deserve it. Right. You understand? Right, right. Until she's so well behaved. Follows their, their yes. instructions. Right? Uh -huh. So until you say, sometimes the dog can act passively without you giving the instruction. Mm -hmm. And once you see that the dog did that behavior, you pet the dog. Right. Yes. Like this, sit. Uh -huh. There you go. Yes, there you go. yes, because she knows mm -hmm. that if she is not sitting, I'm yeah, not she's touching. Not gonna, yeah, exactly. And then all the excitement is like, touch me, touch me. I'm right. here, please. Yeah. Give me yeah, yeah. your hand. Mm -hmm. Even if I do my hand like this, you will still be looking for that hand. Yeah. For, yes. For you, you, to you, you see what is going on. Right. Right. So right, right. you still be looking for that hand. Mm -hmm. So you get that. So it's a very intelligent dog, obviously, because I mean it's intuitive is following your instructions and also following your body language obviously that's what we're seeing here yes uh, yes the dog is a very intelligent dog mm -hmm. on, uh, like all dogs too right it, it's only intelligence of a dog is just how the owner bring the dog up right, right. yes so it requires a lot of socialization a lot of exercise a lot of obedient training mm -hmm. you understand and then you have to be dog educated Right, right, right. So, so how do you get dog educated? Is it by observing the dog or do you have to then start you, reading about you it? Do, you do your like research. Right. You do your research. It depends on the breed you want to select mm -hmm. and then whether it fits your own schedule and your own lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And then also your regular vet visit can give you all, uh, advices yeah. on uh, health matters. Regarding the dogs. Regarding right? the dogs. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you might need the service of a dog trainer. Sometimes. Uh, yes, right. yes. Most times, all so times, it's, yes. So it looks like, you know, having a pet or, you know, a dog specifically can actually be a bit expensive if uh, in the long run when you look at it, having yeah. a, you know, a dog trainer, okay. uh, doing your research, taking the dog to the vet, even feeding. Yeah. Especially it's, for a big dog like it's this. It's actually expensive. But if you look at the love, and what the dog is giving you mm. is you cannot quantify it with money. Mm. Yes. But you, you don't even see the money you are spending. You just be just like you are spending money on your child schooling, the feeding. You don't count that as money. You don't right. quantify it mm -hmm. because of the love you have for your child. Right. It's just like dog. 
The only animal, the only living being in the world that loves you unconditionally. Is a dog, right? Yeah, That's dog. why they say it's man's best friend. Man's I like it. Friend, I like yeah. it. I don't like bull here. Bull is very relaxed. Yeah, it's a uh, nice dog. And very friendly. Because I've never met the dog before and the dog Very is just... friendly and then she's highly socialized. Mm -hmm. So whatever okay, whatever so anything relax is going around on humans her, and all of that, right? She she tells you she she's alert whenever she wants to back, she backs. Right. When right. there's something going wrong, so you know something's going wrong. Yeah. Kizito, this has been awesome. I mean, thank you for bringing in Bull over here. Uh -huh. Might be taking her home. <laughs> hey, Bull, what do you need today? There's something happening in the kitchen. You are doing, you are having, you're doing her a great job. Ah. Touching, petting <laughs> and touching. All right, so we have she to go on a it. break now. Hopefully, we're going to have another pet for you uh, next week on the show. And Bull here, thank you for coming on the show. You want to give me a handshake?